in the last exercise, we brought a PowerPoint slide into GIMP and then extracted each one of these buttons and got them onto a separate layer. And I then went through and saved this as a GIF, which simply says what you can see on the screen here as a flat image. And then turned off Chikimo and I saved HippoKey as a GIF and went through each one. So you can actually find these files in the samples. They're right here. We have button underscore Chikimo, then Dooney, etc., etc. So let's see how this works in PowerPoint. We can now go insert picture and you find the files. So I can click button Chikimo. I'm going to select all five of these by then shift clicking button Tiro and I'm going to click insert. Now one thing which is slightly unfortunate is that you'll notice these images actually come back slightly bigger and there's no real logical reason for that because we actually took these straight from the slide so I think what you might find is that if we drag these out and then go into a slideshow if we go back we see that the original images are slightly smaller and if you then go forward one slide you can see how these have been slightly blurred because of the way they've increased in size it's not the end of the world. If you want to change the size, and this actually applies to any time you want to change the size of all the objects together on a slide, you can simply hit Control A to select them all. And just to make things easier to see, I'm going to align them all together in the center. So I'm going to click Align, Align to Slide, and I'm going to align Center, and then Align Middle. And now what I can do is I can take this little slider and I can decrease it. And if I want to get these exactly the same size as the first slide, I can click the first slide, click one of these groups, and I'm actually going to have to ungroup it. So I ungroup this, and I'm just going to click on this back image. And if we go to Drawing Tools under Format, we can see the height and width is 2.08 inches. So if we go back to this slide, select all. Go to Format. For some reason, it's now been increased to 2.64. I have absolutely no idea why that is, but I guess that's just the way it is. So you could now go 2.08 and do the same over here. And hit Enter. So now things are going to look a lot sharper. I'm just going to deselect and we can drag these all over the place. Of course, this only matters if you are really worried about the size being exactly what it was. But just so that you know, for some reason, PowerPoint doesn't really play along in that way. But what we can now do is very simply just click on one of these and we can insert a hyperlink. So we can just find Tiro. There you go. Make a slideshow. And literally 1,000 times easier once you've got it into your PowerPoint. So the technique to get these into images from PowerPoint took us maybe about 10 minutes, but it's 10 minutes that is going to save you hours and hours of time when it comes to actually doing your hyperlinks.